So even, even no matter where you are in the organization, there still is a collection of people, right? And so what we take a look at through the Tamaros Vision Agility Model, and I see I now have slides, and I'm just going to flip through so you can see what I'm talking about, is this. So with the Temenos Vision Agility Model, you can, the way you look at this is we have the individuals here surrounding the other elements of the enterprise. It goes to teams, divisions, and institution. And the thing to look at here, first of all, is it is all about the individuals, right? No matter what level you're at, it's all about the individuals. The other thing is the symbol itself is meant to represent vision, and agility, and you really need both because vision without a way to activate it and move it into action doesn't take you out of the thinking part, right? So you need agility to actually do the vision, right, and give you a method for doing, and Agile is perfect for that, right? You have a backlog of work, you have visibility into what that vision, uh, act activating that vision looks like, regardless of the level, whether it's personal, team, division, or institution, okay? And then the other piece I want to just draw attention to is the model itself. And the way that this works is there's three parts of it that are personal. And you take a look at it from a personal transformation point of view. So remember, at the core of this, right, is the individual. So when you're looking at this model, you start with personal mythology. What's the story of your life, right? And mythology is part fact, part fiction, right? And so you start there, and through the articulation or the telling of your story with others that are part of your team, that are part of your division or institution, you get to a place of compassion. Right? You get to a place of understanding. It accelerates the relationships that you're part of, whether you've been embedded in that institution for a long time or not. You learn things about the people that you're, that you're working with. Right? Then you move into clean slate. And clean slate is all about clearing the baggage right? and kind of telling yourself the truth about what's holding you back. Okay? And that's all to get you to personal vision. So being able to kind of articulate what your, his, what your story is, what your history is, uh, identifying your baggage really allows your mind to open up and activate your personal vision. Everybody has a personal vision. I believe that. And, but we need help sometimes to bring it into our consciousness. And so those three steps uh, help us do that and get us to personal vision. Then moving into the group work. You look here, there's two steps, and one is a shared vision at the group and a compelling shared vision. So you still go through the, the three steps as individuals, but you're going to do it within the container of group. So your team, division, institution, whatever that container is, right? Because that's how you get to know each other deeply. Then you move into what's the baggage as that container that we need to clear? All right, so from a team perspective, you know, what's holding the team back from being truly high performing? And then that allows the activation of the vision. So you go through a, a shared vision uh, exercise where everybody on the team sees themselves in that vision. And then that becomes part of the division's vision, which becomes part of the institution's vision. So instead of starting at the institution, you're starting at the individual and building out from there. All right? Good. So what I'd like to do, first of all, I'll take a couple of questions, and then I'd like to actually have us start doing some uh, vision work here together uh, this morning so you get a chance to kind of feel what this, uh, what this really is all about. All right? So any questions, first of all? Yes, please. Yes. 
That's a great question. So I'll just repeat it in case everybody didn't hear. How, you know, uh, enterprises are constantly transforming. You know, and one of the ways that we look at this is you're actually approaching a transforming enterprise. We're not actually uh, starting a transformation. They're in the state of transforming, whether it's through mergers and acquisitions, through growth, through uh, reduction in force, all of these things cause enterprises to transform. And so how often? And certainly, if you think about it, as new members join the team, it's important to become aligned around the vision, right? So from that team perspective, it's a great way to introduce new members into the team and really get them engaged and also for the team to be able to stay aligned with the work that's coming to them, right? So it's a mechanism as well to say is the work appropriate. So when those elements change and they're out of alignment, the team knows, and a decision gets to be made at that point to say, has something shifted in the enterprise around the work that's being given to us that we now need to reevaluate our shared vision? Or is it truly in not in alignment and we should be saying no to that work? So it's a way to also for teams to be able to say no, that it doesn't align with the vision. And so when you move up through team, division, institution, there's a similar uh, uh, kind of approach to that, right, and perspective around that, but the timing, that, that need for change may be, uh, may be less, right? It may happen at, at longer increments, but it really is a way to be able to evaluate where are we today with the work that's coming, is it in alignment, whether it's at the individual level around personal vision, team around that compelling shared vision, division or institution. Does that help? Good. All right, I'll take uh, another question if there's any more. Otherwise, we'll move into, Nelson, do you have a question or are you stuck in? Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah, yeah, that's a great question. So. Yeah, you know, so the, a very uh, kind of curious thing that happens with this, and the way that I like to describe it is that people opt in or opt out. And those who are not aligned with the vision opt out in many different ways, right? Whether it's physically, mentally, by causing barriers, by whether it's conscious or unconscious, right? It happens. So when you go through this exercise and, and kind of get that, um, that articulation out, People who are not aligned with the vision realize it. They'll, it, it, brings, it brings the, it visualizes for them why they're just not quite fitting. Right? And so you do need to have a mechanism to allow the opt out. And and it point of view, it's very important to coach and mentor them around what's going to happen when people are not aligned with the vision. Because guess what, it's happening anyways. But this brings it to the forefront, right? And the, that visualization of the vision, it's something inside of you says, now I see why I don't actually fit here. So you've got to have a mechanism, right, to uh, allow for that, first of all, and, and do, do something about it. Provide a safety net, provide some way to be able to um, uh, acknowledge that misalignment, and then what can we do about it? But first you've got to be able to visualize it and articulate it, right, so that you have an understanding of why that misalignment is happening. Okay. I'll take one more. Okay, great. Let's just uh, let's get into an exercise then. So what I want, what I'd like to do is let's break up into four groups. Okay, so we'll self-organize around four groups. Before you start moving, let me just kind of describe what's going to happen. We're going to do a personal vision exercise first. Okay, and so what I'd like you to think about is we'll keep it in the context of the conference because we're only gonna have a short period of time. So uh, let's keep it within the context of the conference. What's your personal vision for your participation here at the conference? Okay, and once you get organized, 
I'll give you the, the three steps that we'll go through. And then uh, we've got some facilitators here that will help, uh, help each of your groups. And then we'll go through the exercise and then move on to compelling shared vision. All right? So go ahead and uh, self-organize four groups, please. Um, familiar to you from our work in earlier this year. All right, does everybody have a play your personal vision for the conference? And then visualize that. You can use images, you can draw um, stick figures, you can write it if that's what you're more comfortable doing. Uh, but um, the third step, once you do the five minutes of introspection and visualization, is articulation. Okay? So first we'll do five minutes introspection visualization on what's your personal vision for the conference. Great. And facilitators, please join. You know, do the exercise also. Your participants here as well. <laughs> so. is articulation, okay? So we're going to do this in a speed fashion. Kind of think of speed dating uh, um, as a, a technique for a short, short period of time to be able to get through articulation. So what I'd like you to do is everybody stand up and I'm going to do just three rounds of, of uh, speed articulation, two minutes each. So find somebody and each of you take about a minute to articulate your personal vision. All right, so two minutes total, then I'll call switch, and we'll do that for three rounds. All right? Good. Okay, let's go. You done? One second. Find one. Find one more uh, person that you haven't met yet, and share your your personal vision. A room full of uh, agile uh, um, professionals knows this. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to move into compelling shared vision to give you a sense of how this works, okay? So Sarthik is going to uh, help me here in the back. And what, we want, what I'd like you to do is take your uh, visualization, whatever that is, okay? We're going to take them up in the back. So we'll see everybody's personal vision, okay? And then, so everyone can come back here, as I make my way back here, mm -hmm. and we'll tape them up. Here, let's just leave this. Okay. Take your sheet of paper. Uh, you don't have to. If you want to, you can put your name. Yep, yep. Yep, let's go. Let's put them all up here. On this chart plate or just uh, we can just put them up. Thank you. Can just the chart plate? Okay, we'll put yeah. it back. Great. Yeah. Great. 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 Okay. okay. Oops, again. All right. One group is going to look at the words, and one group is going to look at the images. All right. And we'll use the big flip chart sheets, 
and draw the images on one. All right. And the one who is doing the words, just pick a few words to be able to articulate a sentence or a statement around personal, around compelling shared vision. All right. So let's take a look at what we have up here. We have about 10 minutes left, and we can come up with our compelling shared vision for the conference. Awesome. Yes, thank you. OK, so please come take a look. You can see what we have. We have some nice little images here that people have drawn. I see bubbles and circles and agile um, and people. And then words such as transformation, um, learning from thought leaders, services, practices. OK, so come close. And let's divide up into two groups. All right. And one group will draw images, and the other will just take a subset of words. All right. And just self-organize. It doesn't have to be evenly distributed. Whatever you feel compelled to be part of. OK? Good. Everybody have an idea what group you want to be in? All right, let's go. Good. And there, are, there are there are a couple of markers around. Okay. So just start writing down the words that you hear. Yeah, just start writing them. Would you like to draw? Do you want to take the pen and draw? Find a pair. Good. Yay. Time working first as an individual and then with teams or divisions or institutions, this power, right? Because people see themselves in this vision, right? And it, it has an alignment. It has an alignment with the overall institution, it has an alignment with the work, and it gives you a way to say, yes, we're in alignment, or no, we're not. What can we do about it? All right. That's it. Thank you so much. Please come visit us at our booth. I would love to have a conversation with all of you. So